I have spent several days searching on the internet and trying to generate a Javadoc documentation for an Android Studio project. Now in this video I will show you one approach which I've tested and works. Since Android Studio is similar to IntelliJ, the way in which you generate javadoc is under tools and generate javadoc after you open this window you should choose where you should output your directory uh, by the way all these buttons are for you to choose the scope of your documentation but i will keep it as default now in this part the output output directory you need to give a path to generate the documentation and I will create a new folder called documentation to choose the output path to the file we want to generate the files and on here these are the scope of which you want to generate are public protected package or private if you scroll this all the way to the top, it basically generates all, uh, all modifiers, types of the uh, fields, functions, constructors, etc. If you click OK directly, it might show errors saying that the android.os does not exist. To fix that, First, you need to go to File, Project Structure, SDK Location, click on it, copy this path, and open the directory on your computer. Afterwards, click on Platforms. Now, you need to know which Android version you are using for this project. To find it out, click on Modules and under compile sdk version you can find the android version you're using for this project uh, and for this project i'm using android 32. click into this this project and copy the path to this directory then go back to uh, dependencies Add a new dependency, a draw ARR, AAR dependency, and then paste it, click OK. Apply. OK. You should wait for a while for the Gradle to build because I've already built it before, so it will take uh, less time for me. Uh, we are not done yet. We still need to go back to tools, generate javadoc. Under other command line arguments, you need to type source path. Uh, this source path argument is uh, for newer versions of Android. If you are using older versions, like really older versions, you need to use boot path instead of source path. You, sh you can look it online add a space and paste the path as well but also add more type more things you need to add slash android dot jar now click on ok you should be able to generate your documentation and see all the comments you've added for your code like in on top of main activity i've added the this is the main activity comment you should be able to see it from your documentation right here